Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And this is the Tucson TS-35 Fire Ant. It is a micro Tucson. Now, this is going to be great for somebody who wants a micro or a very small knife with high-end materials. It's an M390 titanium frame lock and a piece of marble carbon fiber, which is pretty cool to be able to have a small, unique knife with the high-end materials and this is one of the earlier models from tucson now just to show you how small it is the blade length is an inch and three quarters and the total length is four and a quarter now we're going to take a couple a look at a couple other small two or small knives not two sons well one small tucson but this is the tashi baruka barucha T2500. I think it's the 2500. I usually mistake it between the 2500, 3500, and 1500. Anyways, it's the small one. And this is a very small knife. So, and you can see how it just dwarfs this thing. Now, here's another one. Now, this one's a really tiny knife. We got the McB. The Spider Co. McB, which you can see is right there with it. A little bit shorter, though. So, and this is a very tiny knife, too. But a lot of people like it, though. A lot of people love it. Here is the Malaya. The CJRB Malaya, which is just a monster compared to this thing. And then here's another small Tucson. The Tucson TS-158. Which is a lot longer, but this is this is a perfect small knife in my opinion for size. I mean, it's very small. It's kind of a gent knife, but you get all the high end materials like this one in a little bit bigger package. Now here's one more, the Kaiser Shard, and you know what? We have one more. Forget forget about it. We'll do one more, the Medford Aris, which. You can see the Medford Aris is a very short knife, but it's a little, it's a little chunker. Now, so you can see it's a bit of a reverse tanto, like people like to call it. I would call it a clip point or more of a spade point, sheep's foot even, a sheep's foot, yes, definitely. And the marble carbon fiber is done very well. The inlay is very nice. Um, looks like there's a little something right there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, and this is a Tucson actually done with T6s. But it kind of makes sense because it's such a small knife. It does have a T8 pivot. But the rest of the hardware is T6s. A very, very tiny little clip. And... Let's talk about the action first. Um, now, I did not sharpen this. I did use it a little bit just to see how it works. And we're going to get into the blade here in just one second. But first, the action, it actually works. Now, at first, I couldn't really do it because I was like, you know, trying to figure it out. But once you figure out, like, how to kind of grip it, and smaller hands are going to be better um, with my hands not saying I have giant hands or anything, but, you know, in my hands, it's just, uh, you know, it's a little tricky. But once I got it down, though, it's actually very easy. I can even do it with my thumb when I try hard enough. But it has a minimal little flipper tab, which, you know, on a small little knife like this, I don't know why they went with a minimal flipper tab, but they did. And it does work, though. Detent is pretty strong. So, like, I'm trying to fail it right now, just so you guys know. So, it's actually a pretty strong detent, but you can fail it if you don't, like, try. Meaning, just uh, adding a little bit of pressure to it. If you just push the, the flipper tab to break the detent, it's not going to go all the way. Now, I did not oil it, though. I bet if I oiled it, it would be even better. Maybe I should. But it still works just fine, and you can get it out every time if you try. Now, the the drop on it or the detent is right there when you unlock it. The lock bar is pretty easy to get to. It's not too bad. I mean, it is a small knife, but you can get to it pretty easily. It does have a detent ramp, 
and it's not drop shutty, but you can swing it shut if you slap it. Pretty much centered for the most part. I haven't adjusted or anything like that. To be honest, I haven't really carried it. I just played with it kind of, you know. This really doesn't have any place like in my personal EDC for Kara. She'd probably like the hell out of this thing because, you know, she'd fit in her little tiny small pockets and then some. But let's talk about this blade. Very thick blade stock which actually gives you the, the room to get into the lock bar, but it does have a very thick blade stock, 20 thousandths behind the edge. To me, is a little much for a two-finger knife. Now, I personally, when I did use it, I used it like this, where I just wrapped the one knuckle around and used this thick spine to put my finger for that. Uh, you know, we'll we'll try a little bit of slice. I didn't really slice with it, but we're going to try it out and see how it works. Because this is not going to be a typical slicer. This isn't going to be something that you're going to be breaking down your cardboard with. This would be something you're going to you're going to open things up with. That's about it. You're going to cut strings maybe, maybe pop, you know, stuff open, you know, slice a package open. Stuff like that. It's going to, you know, or, you know, like if you keep it on your keychain, pick at your nails, you know, uh, you know, if you're in your car, you know, and you need to pick at something or you need to cut something open, it'll work perfect for that. And being in high end materials, you can feel like a boss. <laughs> Slicing with it, however, is not going to be very good at all. It's not going, going to go through materials like you want. You're not going to have the leverage behind your cuts. You don't have a good grip. And it's just not a lot of blade. Could you do it? Yeah. Yeah, you could. You could absolutely do it. But there's going to be a million knives better. But if you only do one slice uh, a month and you don't really care about doing slices, you just want something just in case this will definitely work just fine and i could see this thing being legal just about anywhere it's basically just a little keychain now i know some places don't allow locking knives but you know it's it's so small that you just how can <laughs> i don't know how this thing could ever be illegal anywhere i'm sure it is so i'm not like saying it's not but it's you know it's so non-threatening it's ridiculous but uh you see it has some weight relieving by these cutouts, or it could just look cool, but it does have the weight relieving in there. There's little cutouts all in there. So you have the inlay on this side and then the hole. So it's really not that, I mean, obviously it's not heavy. It's a tiny little knife. It also has in, um, external stop pins, internal external stop pins. And you can see them right there. And it has all the little bells and whistles like two sons do. And you can see the detent track right there. Locks up. It's actually locked up. Very, very solid. I mean, no play whatsoever. It is very, very solid. Now, you can see it has the steel lock bar insert right there. And it has all the bells and whistles. The clip, the clip, it does have a clip, but it's so tiny, it's really not going to work that well. Maybe for the inside of a jacket pocket, thin material it'll work great on. Girls' leggings, girls' pants, um, or ladies' pants, uh, but, you know, regular thick jeans it's not going to work great on. Now, will it go? Yeah, you can put it on there, but it's just, you know... One, it doesn't have that much room, which it really doesn't need it because it's such a short knife, but it's just you don't have a lot of room under the clip. Now, it will still work, like I said, inside of a jacket pocket or something like that, but what you can do with it, if you wanted something like this and you did want to carry it, you can put a lanyard on it and keep it as a keychain. It would work great as a little keychain knife. So it, it definitely still could be a, a good knife for somebody. Now, let's talk about some bad things. Now, one thing 
is this blade. One, it makes it to where it's heavy, so it does help it uh, pop out with this little flipper tab. And it does help it for giving you room for the lock bar. But it's very thick. I mean, th it's probably 3.8 millimeters. That's usually pretty common for two sons, which that's what they put on their big knives. So 20 thousandths behind the edge. This thing is like an axe. <laughs> it's a little axe. That's why, you know, it's not going to be something you're going to want to cut with at all. You just don't have the leverage to push this thick little blade through things. But the tip will be nice and strong and will last for a long time because of the way it is. You will, And it's M390, so you will easily be able to get a lot of use out of the tip in, you know, utility cuts, small utility cuts, small lightweight utility cuts. So, but I do wish it was thinner where it would even be slicier, especially for such a little package. If you're not going to have leverage, then it needs to be very slicey. The blade needs to go through materials very, very easily, especially with something very tiny like this. The next thing this this choil, it's okay, you know, it's not bad, but being twenty thousands thick, you after you resharpen it, the you know, it's gonna get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. So they could have added deeper, better choil, especially since I have external internal stop pins. It you know, they could have done that. I can touch the blade a little bit. You know, which I don't think is that big of a deal. But if you do have it as a keychain, you don't want stuff getting stuck in there. So not that big of a deal because you really it's not going to hurt anything. The clip could have been a little just a tiny bit taller, just a little bit more room under there where anybody could carry it in a fifth pocket, you know, which you still can. It's just not going to be very comfortable. It's not going to go in and out very comfortable. You're going to have to really think about it when you put it in your pocket. Not that big of a deal because it is a micro knife. And anybody carrying this isn't worried about getting it in and out of their pocket fast. If you know what I mean. So it's not that big of a deal. All in all, it's a cool little knife. And it's hard for me to complain about things on this because it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, the biggest complaint is just how thick the blade is on such a little knife. But it still will work for what its purpose is. This isn't going to be a slicer. So does it really need a slicey blade? Not really. I mean, it just it, a strong blade might even be the better option for it in some ways because you're going to be doing utility cuts mostly with it. But it's very, very cool. And you know, for a little high-end knife, this is pretty awesome. I mean, M390, the action's pretty decent. Nice clicky detent, too. <laughs> you gotta love it. I love you guys. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you guys for watching. Ah. Ow! Peace! <laughs>